Well, any minute now, we will find out just how many provisional ballots will be counted in Fairfax County and how those votes will influence that close attorney general's race in Virginia. The race between Mark Obenshane and Mark Herring has been too close to call, and all eyes are now on Fairfax County. Hatzel Vela is live where the votes are being counted tonight. Alice said right now the electoral board is going over those provisional ballots, 493 in total. Once they decide which ones to accept, those ballots will be brought to this room where they will be scanned and counted. At this point, we don't know the exact number of ballots that have been accepted, but we think it will be in the hundreds, which will change the totals in the attorney general's race. At last check, the Democrat Mark Herring was ahead by 117 votes. That's because the numbers changed overnight because of 200 plus votes that had not been counted in the city of Richmond. We talked to two folks who were here to defend their provisional ballots. There were two of 159 who have done the same since Friday. I just wanted it to count. It was important to vote. Living abroad for a while and, um, I don't know, just kind of being more removed from American politics and then coming back, uh, I really wanted to participate more directly in our politics here uh, because I feel like this is my chance to kind of um, see an outcome that I would think is favorable. So what happens next? Well, uh, Fairfax County and the rest of the counties in Virginia will have to certify their votes by midnight tonight. Then the state has to do the same by November 25th with a race so tight we know that the losing candidate will likely call for a statewide recount and will drag this out for the weeks to come. Live in Fairfax, Hatzel Vela, ABC 7 News.